Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm back on Exora for yet another progress episode. Now in today's video, hopefully we'll be able to get some more raids done, which I tried out in my live stream and I also showcased some features of that in my last video. So hopefully we'll do some more raids, get some more achievements done, get some levels done on the battle pass, all that good stuff. Now before we get into that, I do want to announce another giveaway in today's video. In today's video, there will be one lucky winner winning 100 store credits. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to leave a like and comment your in-game name down below. The winner will be picked in just about two days as always, he will be announced in my community discord, in the service discord and on my pinned comment. Links of the discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure you join those. So we're doing some save cracking and we just got ourselves a new collection of, uh, log of getting Agdal's essence from one of the saves. We also just completed ourselves another battle pass task which was to complete um, 10 save crackers or 10 um, save boxes cracked in total. That got us up to level 14 so we can now go ahead and claim ourselves a true exit bow which we already have one so we might as well try to sell this one for some additional cash as well. So another battle pass task today is to actually go ahead and open up the blue right chest for time. So the twilight key I got, my, uh, I got in my last episode is absolutely perfect for this and hopefully we get ourselves something rare like Cyrenic chest, uh, Chaps on kill count or on chest 22 which is a new collection log and there we go we also completed the battle pass task now which is very sick. So we just completed ourselves another battle pass task which means we got ourselves another level and now we can claim ourselves a true exit stuff which means we got all the true exit weapons. I don't know if this has any use for me or if I have a better mage weapon but it's definitely nice to get at least one more uh, item that I didn't have before. We just got ourselves a nice little DFS from Cerberus which is a new collection log update as well so we definitely take that. So it is the next day now and as you can see we just completed ourselves two battle boss tasks which means we got ourselves once again another level um, which is level 16 and if we claim the rewards we now got ourselves a superior dark beast pet and I'm actually not sure if this superior dark beast is better than the blood chili pet or not so I'll have to check that out. Right we just got ourselves an uncut onyx from one of the Dravonic hydras and that is a new collection log as well as we just completed 100 kills of um, creatures in this dungeon which gave me an additional Dravonic mystery box as well. Got ourselves a superior dry um, Hydra right there and unfortunately we didn't get ourselves any special drop but we still got ourselves of course the regular potions. Oh shit no way we just got ourselves a freaking Dark Lord full help as it dropped from the Warmonger at kill count 8 which is very early so we definitely got spoon fed on that. Let's actually have a look at the drop rate 1 in 957 and we just got it an 8kc that's so sick man. I also just realized I completed this pirates book one thing with defeating 100 monsters underwater so let's go ahead and claim this this gives me 1% bonus combat experience not like it has any real use for me but still it's a very nice thing to claim no way we just got ourselves another dark lord full helmet kill count 19 that's the second one in 19 kills bro what is my luck here I just got myself a tormented shield at kill count 22 this is my third drop here in 22 k see and they're all like 1 in 900 chance it's a new collection log as well I ain't complaining also worth quite a bit of money I believe so yeah that's very very freaking sick and the next kill another collection log with an elite task scroll I'm filling in these like it's absolutely nothing let's have a look at the collection log so we got three out of ten pieces already we got four drops which three of these are actually valuable drops so all we need is two more dark uh, lord pieces and a pet and I got all of the rarest and most valuable drops from here the rest is pretty much not not really that high in value just a collection log so yeah very sick to see that right another collection log which was the enchanted key that has now been filled in also quickly we passed 35 votes so we can claim ourselves an additional reward for the vote streaks which is an additional dravonic soul cage so that's also going to be very great once i finish those so we now have enough boss slayer points um to actually go ahead and buy what we wanted to which is learning the ability to receive special drops which means we can get hanto's mystery box a scroll of Hanto and Hanto's Polish which is going to be very nice of course this only works on boss slayer tasks and the next thing I want to buy is of course learn how to encounter boss superiors 
Now you might be thinking, why don't you go for the cheapest one? I don't see that many benefits to this, to be fair. So yeah, this has more benefits for me. Anyways, I do have to get myself another one of these now because obviously I do want to check out if I can get something special. So since this is my first ever Grouser task, I'm going to get myself some easy collection logs just like this Gold Sword Charge 3 on Kill Count 3 as well, which is <laughs> very coincidental. But um, yeah, I'll probably get all of the Gold Sword Charge collection logs very soon here. And maybe even the others like the Bandus Hilt, which we just got on 5KC. I told you guys, this is going to be super quickly and I'm going to get myself a bunch of collection logs. And there we have another one, of course, being the Enchanted Key. Once again, collection log done. And there we have another collection log of Gold Sword Charge 2. Into the back-to-back -back Bandus Godsword um, collection log update as well. Collection log update at the Fire Dragons, which is my first ever Fire uh, Dragon Slayer task, and we get ourselves an Infernal Guard Plate body on Kill Count 6. Back-to-back -back into the Infernal Guard Plate legs, I believe these are like 1 in 20 drop rate to be fair, so I'll probably get a helmet as well very soon here. <laughs> well then, <laughs> we literally just got the Plate body legs and helmet back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, which is... Three collection logs back to back, but also the full Infernal Guard set back to back completed as well, which is very cool to see to be fair. And there we go, that's an enchanted key, which means another collection log that we just finished from the Five Dragons. Oh damn, we just got ourselves a Scorching Hilt at kill count 55. Once again, new collection log, but this is actually a valuable drop as well, so that's pretty good. Another collection log here at Angdel, we just got ourselves some additional logs, which is pretty cool. So we just completed ourselves a Wildwood Soul Cage. Let's have a look what we get, and we got ourselves some Grove Warden Gloves. Unfortunately, that's an item that I already had. Nice, we got ourselves a Lore Root Rope Top. Unfortunately, it's not a collection log, it's a duplicate, but still, these are nice money, so I'll take it. Wow. Wow, we just got ourselves another one of course it's another duplicate it's the same item that we just got but yeah i guess it's another one that i can sell for some money so as you can see we just quickly defeated a giant orc now that was actually not the reason that i came to here because today is another day and we got ourselves a new battle pass task because opening eight of these blue right chests so hopefully we can at least get ourselves something unfortunately not but of course that is the task completed and also that got us up to level 17 which means we can now claim ourselves an additional reward of five grand rage potions all right, we're back with the crazy RNG and got ourselves a Dravonic plate body on Kill Count 2 at the Dravonic Demons. Next up, we got ourselves an Abyssal Whip, once again, collection log. Um, it's, of course, the first time I'm doing Dravonic Demons as my Slayer task, so I'm expecting to get quite a few collection logs, simple ones that I would normally get. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see those and hopefully we'll see some additional Dravonic pieces as well, which would be absolutely fantastic. Well then, maybe it's a duplicate, but I ain't complaining about the Revonic pieces, as these still sell for like, what, 100 million each, so that's pretty good if you ask me. And all the Dravonic plate body kill can 42, we're super lucky on these as well, because the drop rate is 1 in 800, as you can see right there. Here we go, we just got ourselves another gold monkey shoulder pad at kill can 285 at the Dravonic Hydras. There we go, a Dravonic rope top as a drop, which is also a new collection log, that's what I love to see. So I quickly went ahead and finished this hard task scroll, which I pretty much had already almost completed. So let's go ahead and collect our reward. Get ourselves an effigy, which honestly isn't too bad. But the main reason why we did this is, of course, because we wanted to get ourselves level 18 on the battle pass. Also, this effigy apparently was a collection log, so it's a win-win right there. But anyways, let's go ahead and claim ourselves the next reward, which is five royal fished feasts. I don't really know if I have any use for them, so they'll probably sit in my bank for a very, very long time. Anyways, moving on from that, next up we are going to start working on this Exorian armor set, which is going to be really dope because I'll be able to sell this for a lot of money. So as you can see, we are about to finish ourselves another skilling task, and with this task done, this should be the final task that we have to complete in order to get ourselves... Oh, we also completed the achievement Proficient Skiller, which is very nice. That gave us some additional um, achievement points and extra points, not really that I used them for anything, but it's always nice to see also this additional Cinder Lamp, but most importantly of all... This is 75 tasks in a row and that means that we have now completed all the requirements in order to get ourselves our first ever master task which in this case would be to mine lava ores. I have no idea how much points I would get. I'm currently at 232 points. I don't know what to say for but I'll definitely keep an eye open for that. You know what actually let me just go ahead and um, use this already. I don't really know what this does but there we go that's now unlocked. 
All right, here we go. We just got ourselves a new collection logo from a monster box tier uh, two from the save boxes, which is not too bad. Now, as you can see in the player owned stores, currently Dark Matter staffs are going for 1 bill or 950 mil only. It would be dumb of me just not to go ahead and buy one of these because I will need it eventually. And it's a nice little upgrade for the staff that I have personally. So, yeah, there we go. A second Dark Matter weapon that is just purchased for 950 mil. So here we have it, the Easter Dragon, as well as the Easter or the Polychromatic Bunny. Hopefully I'll be able to get a loot from both of these, as I did just manage to get here just in time. But anyways, we got our first loot over there, and then we should also be able to get a loot from this Polychromatic Bunny. Now let's have a look here, we can get the uh, Polychromatic Bunny Pad, um, as, uh, Easter Egg Shoulder Pad uh, Tier 1. Evil Bunny Shoulder Pad Tier 2, a lot of different drops here, um, so yeah, that's very dope. Anyways, we managed to kill both of these, so let's go ahead and check out the rewards that we got, and then move on, because Hakerim also just spawned. A lot of world events just happen all at once, which means that hopefully we can get ourselves lucky on any of these, and um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet. Also, I still have to complete the Easter event quest at this point. So you just saw me kill the Easter Dragon and the Chromatic Bunny for for this we of course have to check out the brand new update which literally dropped last night as you can see right there. Now this update is with the Easter event for 2023, you also have pet transfer, monster mystery box and so on. Now it's a large update log so I might be doing this for quite a while, if you guys want to skip ahead feel free to. But anyways we're gonna cover most of the Easter event especially and then also some of the other updates as well. I'm gonna quickly go through these. So the Easter event for 2023. So they wanted something different for the Easter event while still keeping the base of the event, killing monsters for tokens. And with this event, they've added a new global event that will happen every hour, which means you will be able to participate in these bosses hourly. Um, now these will provide drops and temporary character benefits as well. They also added a new event outside of the Easter event. You can now gain temporary character benefits randomly when killing any monster in the game. And lastly, there are now zone rewards for the Easter event as, uh, as well, which will guarantee you a few Easter soul cages. And soul cages will always guarantee you one of the more uncommon or rare rewards from the drop table. Now not only that, um, they also wanted to give the uh, new and mid-tier players a way to obtain better upgrades and also new shoulder pads. You can now get weaponry up to tier 4 as well and a lot more, so let's go ahead and get straight into this. Also, this might be interesting for some of you who want to participate. The end date of this event will be the 1st of May, so this event will be live for just about a full month. Now, the Easter Bunny quest. This is one of the things that we'll have to complete whenever you are in game first, because this will give you something that will be useful for additional events. Now, to start with the Easter event, you have to speak to the Easter Bunny at the Easter Zone. You can easily find it by checking out the global teleports, and the Easter Dungeon will be at the top. You can also just type con con Easter and then you'll be teleported straight to that location. Now you'll have to help the Easter Bunny defend its eggs by defeating evil bunnies in the Easter Zone. This quest will reward you with the ability to obtain Easter tokens from these evil bunnies, an Easter mystery box and also an egg locator which will come in handy later. This is the item that I was talking about that you would need for one of the global events. Now this quest can only be completed once per day per IP, meaning if you want to complete it on your alt account, you will have to wait at least a day in order to be able to complete it on there. Doing the repeatable quest will reward you with an Easter mystery box as well, so do keep that in mind. So the Easter Dragon, I already showed this one real quick. Now the Easter Dragon is a new world boss. It will only be available during the Easter event, so only for one month at this point in time. The event tab will show when the dragon will spawn. It will, um, it will drop all of the Easter event items. It is also similar to the Kashi Dragon, however, upon killing the Easter Dragon, it drops a lot of Easter candy, so these will give you some benefits as well. Now, whenever you have the option to teleport or whenever this boss spawns, it will also announce in the world chat that you will have to type colon colon E dragon to be teleporting to this location. Now, moving on from that, we have the polychromatic bunny. You also saw this boss as I did also just kill it a minute ago. Um, which is another world boss, once again, you just type Kong Kong E Bunny, they spawn right next to each other, the dragon and the bunny, so that makes things a little bit easier. 
Now the Easter egg hunt, this is something that I wanted to talk about as well because once you complete the Easter bunny quest you will receive the egg locator. This is a very important item to help locate the Easter egg. In order to find the Easter egg um, you have to use the locator. At first the hints will be very vague but every 15 minutes you will actually get a better hint until it will just straight up tell you where the Easter egg is. Now whenever you find an Easter egg simply just click it to catch it. It's very similar to the reindeers with the Christmas event. Now with this you'll be rewarded with items, coins and a 30 minute temporary character benefit which will, uh, which will give you a 1% increased drop rate and 25% increased experience rate. So that's always nice to see. Also these will also spawn once every hour so you have the same spawns as the world bosses. So let's go ahead and check out the Easter event in game right now and also complete the actual quest so we can get ourselves everything that we need including the Easter egg locator. Now let's go ahead and talk to the Easter bunny real quick as well. We're going to go through the chat log. Sorry to hear that good luck or what can I do to help? Of course we are going to help and all you have to do is kill 20 NPCs in this area which shouldn't be too difficult at all. I didn't really read which NPC specifically so I hope it doesn't really matter that much. Also you will see the these um, evil bunnies around here. You'll see them in three different colors normally. You'll have green, you'll have blue and also red. Of course these are for the three combat styles. Green being ranged, then you got um, the blue ones somewhere around there in the back which is magic and the red ones being melee of course. So we killed 20 NPCs which means I believe that we should complete this or yeah, wait, you have completed the Easter event. I didn't get an interface, that's why I was confused. But anyways, the bunny will now give Easter tokens if you go ahead and kill them. We also got ourselves the egg locator, which will work once the event is open. And also an Easter mystery box, which I'm quickly going to open just for the sake of this video. Now anyways, these are all the loots that you can get. As you can see, there are quite a bit of different loots that you will be able to obtain from these, which is very sick. We just got ourselves an Easter helmet, which I believe is actually a pretty decent item. So now that we completed the event, let's head back to the forums real quick so we can check out the rest of the update. So the Heart of Easter Spirit. So while killing monsters, there's a low chance to receive a temporary character benefit. You'll roll either the increased drop rate or the uh, increased experience rate. They're the same as the Easter Egg benefit, so these two benefits will not stack. However, if you, uh, if you happen to get another buff while your timer is still active, it will actually go ahead and refresh the timer that you have, which is very nice. Of course, Easter token will also have a benefit to have the store in game i'll check out that store uh, in just a second as well now the easter zone rewards in the easter dungeon you'll be able to progress through the zone rewards you'll be able to obtain a bunch of easter soul cages lots of mystery boxes evil bunny shoulder pad weaponary equipment and so much more this is so intermediate and beginning players can grind out the Easter event without much RNG so that's also really nice to see. If you guys are new to the server you will be able to use this event to upgrade your account to the highest ability possible even getting items which are worth quite a lot of money throughout this event. Now the Easter emblems as well are something that you'll be able to obtain. There will be four different Easter emblems. You'll be able to break these down with a chisel to get yourself some Easter tokens. You got the Heart of Easter, Crystallized Easter Egg, Ancient Medallion and the Palm Leaves. You also have a brand new Adventures Log which I want to complete as well in today's episode. Or maybe not in today because I just saw that you need the global bosses as well. But as you can see, make sure to claim any other rewards that you may have missed, uh, missed from the Adventures Log. They've added the new book called Bunny's Book. This will only be in the log until the event has ended. Meanwhile, you can complete the Easter task and receive the Easter rewards, which are fairly easy to do, and you have a total of five different tasks to complete for some goodies. Now, moving on from that, the rewards right here. Easter consumables, not going to cover those. These are pretty much the same as you would have with any other event. So you'll get a bunch of these as drop whenever the world bosses die, and you'll be able to get a boost whenever you consume those. You have the Easter Swords tier 1 to 4, same with the bow and also same with the staff. Now as you can see from these gifts, they look absolutely gorgeous if you ask me. I think these weapons look one of the best items that I have actually seen in the RSPS scene so far. It's maybe just the blue and yellow, which is a, I think a personally a very nice color combo. But anyways, you also have the Evil Bunny Shoulder Pad, which you can upgrade into a tier 2 as you can see right there. Now the only noticeable difference mainly is the 
drop rate as you can see right there and also that it will restore your health and prayer five seconds faster than the tier one which is always really nice to see this is also a comparison to the snail shoulder pad which is already a really good one they have the melee range and magic easter set as well not going to cover all of these if you guys want to read through this yourself make sure to check out the forums because these are a lot of cosmetics and additional items that you will be able to obtain and this video would take over an hour if i would go over everything but this is something i do want to check out as well you have brand new easter battle pads including the golden dragon pad which will have 15 percent chance to apply additional magic special hit they also have the golden bunny pad right here I'm not gonna cover every detail of them but these are really sick to see also really good pads to obtain if you can I also have the polychrome bunnies in the three different colors, also including, of course, the three different combat styles. Um, and then you also have this brand new pet interface or pet transfer interface. This is something new that's added to the server as well. Not going to cover too much of this. Once again, if you want to read through it, check out the forum post for yourself. Some additional um, changes to mystery boxes. You also have some other changes right here, credit shop fixes and so on. So yeah, definitely make sure to read through all of this yourself but the Easter event is looking so good right now. So let's check out the Easter Bunny store which is right here at the home area. You can easily just go ahead and talk to it. You can ask about the Easter event, how to get tokens and of course check out the store itself. You can buy the mystery boxes here for 10,000 tokens each. Of course you do have some additional items including of course the tier 1 weapons, the shoulder pad tier 1 as well. Then you got the range set or the melee set, the range set and also the magic set as well. And moving on from that you got the 3 evil bunny pads right here. The Easter Dragon Pet, the three chromatic or polychrome bunny pets as well. Then you got the bunny mask, the three bunny tails as well, which is very cool, I believe. These look really sick. They are, of course, fully cosmetic and don't have any additional benefit, I believe. But they are really nice to see. You also got a rubber chicken and the basket of Easter, uh, basket of eggs, rather. Okay, I see you, collection log. We just got ourselves an Ablon Chill Potion 4 from Safe Cracking once again. Now, also, if we go into the final plans for the Safe Cracks, if we complete that, we should also complete a Battle Pass task for the day which I will also think that will increase me one level on the battle pass, meaning we can claim ourselves an additional reward right before it ends, because I believe the battle pass only has like nine days left at the point of me recording this. Anyways, let's have a look here if we can manage to crack it open. And as you can see, battle pass uh, task now completed, meaning we can also claim ourselves an Exorian full helm, which I'll sell for some additional money now. Now, of course, this video is already really long because I talked so much about the brand new Easter event that has been added to the game. Therefore, I'm not going to open up the mystery boxes I have stacked up right now. I'm going to keep them for the next episode. However, I do want to open up the world boss chest because this can always give a loot that's super useful for me on my progress. Anyways, let's go ahead and have a spin here and see if we can get ourselves anything out of here that's actually really interesting. And um, we get ourselves the most useless item ever, which is a prayer scroll that I already have unlocked, unfortunately. So that's kind of sad. But anyways, there is one more thing I want to showcase or actually test out for myself, and that is the egg locator. After that, I think I'm going to end off today's episode and move on to the next episode with the rest of the Easter event for myself. So here we go, an easter egg has gone missing, use your easter egg locator to find it. Let's see here, hint eternal and you shall survive. Hmm, let's have a look, eternal and you shall survive. I believe that's something with eternal dungeon maybe if we have that, or eternal amulet. Let me have a think and let's see. So my first guess was the um, fire lens right here because you need an amulet of eternal fire. I'm just following Mr. PVM because I have been looking around here for the last two minutes and I haven't found the egg yet, but there it actually is and we will be the first one here. So let's go ahead and investigate. We got ourselves a Varox helm, but you do know how it works now. We also got ourselves the 30 minutes boost and I actually figured it out myself because as you can see, whenever we got into the chat, I'm thinking fire lens because it's eternal and you shall survive, which was the hint and I got the Amulet of Eternal Fire. So yeah, the egg is right here, it's walking around, you do click it, you get yourself a reward, that's how it works. It's very sick if you ask me, and I'm very happy that I actually managed to find it myself. 
Anyways, that is going to be where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway and definitely make sure to participate in the Easter event yourself. I'll be on quite a lot because I want to complete the Easter event to the highest of my abilities in my future progress episode. But with all that said, I'll be catching you guys in my next video. So take care and peace.